Hello and welcome to MMA News Real Talk. I'm your host, Sebastian Vendel Martinez. I've been a writer and reporter for MMA News since 2012. And this is the segment where I give my uh, unscripted, uh, unedited views and opinions on all things MMA and combat sports. So we had a very martial arts filled uh, weekend and now we're in the sort of in-between area where it's like we're not really close enough to fight uh, to a fight this weekend to solely focus on that and we're we've already covered most of the breaking stories from you know the past weekend's events but there is definitely some stuff to get into so the way I see it there's about four major stories that we'll talk about first things first uh, starting off patriotic with a uh, a re-signing to the UFC. Uh, Panik Yanzad, former, former Ultimate Fighter finalist, has now been re-signed to the UFC. It is a, she will be acting as a late replacement for a injured Melissa Gatto. Uh, and the fact that she isn't, or that she didn't stay in the UFC after her loss in the Ultimate Fighter finale is perplexing, and uh, to say the least. Uh, here in Scandinavia, where she's very big and very popular, it was seen as a, as a shocking thing because she's so well established here. She is a, a true veteran of uh, uh, of Scandinavian uh, mixed martial arts. I mean, her record alone of, of over 15 fights is a lot more than a lot of her colleagues in the UFC's bantamweight division can claim. And it's not just about her having a couple wins uh, because anyone can beat a bunch of cans and... Uh, uh, subsequently make their way to the UFC only to be handed her first defeat. Now, Pani Kanzad was actually beating UFC fighters way before she even won her first title. Uh, in her third uh, pro fight, she defeated Lina Landsberg, who was uh, current, currently top 15 ranked. After that, she defeated former UFC fighter Milana Dudieva, who was uh, a very promising Russian prospect at the time. After that, she defeated Annalisa Bucci, who went on to do great things in Bellator. Uh, she won her. Uh, she won the Cage Warriors bantamweight title in 2014 after uh, decisioning uh, Eva Siskonen. After that, she made her Invicta debut, uh, beating uh, Jesse Jess, Jessica Rose Clark. And admittedly, she did have a tough stint of three straight losses, but it was against very good and established opposition. Uh, she returned with two wins, uh, and then made her stint to the Ultimate Fighter, where I personally thought she looked great. Uh, she looked fantastic against both Katarina Lenner and. Uh, uh, Yulia Stolarienko, uh, but then she did lose to Macy Chesson in the in the final, and you know at that point Macy she only had two pro wins, uh, so I guess it might have been seen as a pretty devastating uh, loss to Kianzad. But I mean, when we take a step back and we look at what Chesson's accomplished now, I mean she's got three straight wins in the UFC, all of them by finish. Her two latest ones by. Uh, by TKO and she's top 15 ranked she's ranked at number 11 right now and I mean losing to her is, is nothing to be ashamed of in my opinion so Pani Kianzad will be replacing an injured Melissa Gatto and uh, taking on uh, uh, Julia Vila uh, who is a uh, kind of a, a hidden talent in some ways. Uh, she doesn't necessarily have uh, as impressive of a resume, but she has also defeated some very high caliber competition. Uh, she defeated the former UFC flyweight champion Nico Montano in her second fight, uh, her second pro fight that is, no sorry, her third, and she defeated Marion, Marion Renault, current UFC fighter, in her pro debut. Her only loss is via a hand injury, which, uh, if I recall, was a, a broken finger, where she wanted actually to continue but was not allowed. This will be her UFC debut, and she is definitely a promising prospect, but I just think Kianza just has a little too much experience uh, here. I, I just think she's going to be a little a little too good, just like regardless of where the fight goes. Uh, Avila is a finisher, though. She is a, she's a real killer. There's a reason a lot of people are hot on her, and... Uh, I think this will be a, uh, a very fun fight, actually. 